pivot table is, it's a way of summarising data. So if I wanted to summarise uh, how much we'd spent on um, each different category per month, for sake of argument, or per quarter, then I can do that. I can do that in a number of ways, but the quickest way is with a pivot table. So with my cursor anywhere in the block of data, I can go to data pivot table. There's a couple of ways to do it. Data pivot table. And what it does is it looks at the fact that my cursor's in that cell there. And it then looks up, down, left and right and works out what it thinks is the correct range of data. So where is the data that I want to use to create the pivot table? Where is the data that I want to summarise? And what it's done is it's picked up A1 to F86, which is correct. If it wasn't, I can just select what I uh, want to use. But it's auto detected by looking for complete blank rows and complete blank columns. And that is correct. Where do I want to put the pivot table? Well, I'm going to put it in a new worksheet. So it'll add a new sheet down here and click on OK. And so I've got a new sheet. And this is where my pivot table will go. So I have to decide what information I want. And in my case, I want to have the dates down here. So I want it to list the dates. And across here, I want it to list the categories. And in the values, I want it to show how much I've spent on each type of item. So how much I've spent on hardware, how much I've spent on software, how much I've spent on um, ebooks and so on and so forth per month. So I click on date and I drag it down to row labels and it puts all the individual dates in there. So what it's done is it's gone back to this sheet and picked up all the dates from there and put them in there. Then I want to grab category and drag that to column labels. And what it's done is it's picked up all the categories. Now I know there's 85 rows of data, but there's not 85 different categories. There's only hardware, magazine, subscription, book, etc. So it's picked up each unique one and put those across there. And then I need to click on amount and drag that over to um, values. And what it's done there is it's calculated. Now, it's actually calculated it per day, which isn't what we want. So I right click over here in that column, go to group and outline and choose group. And because it knows I've got dates in there, I can then group it based on whatever I want to group it on. Um, so I could group it on years, quarters, etc. I'm going to go for quarters, click on OK. And what it's done now is it's now showing me how much I've spent on each type of item per quarter. I can format that. I can create a chart from that. I can change the text here so I can blank that text out. OK, I can blank the text out. I can change the text. I can switch things around. So if I decided that I wanted the quarters across there and the rows down, the um, the categories down there, I can just go to category and put that on a row and date and put that on column. And that's why it's called a pivot table, because you can pivot things around. You can switch things around.